Every day, St. Louisans send three to 4,000 tons of their trash and garbage to this IESI landfill. There, the daily pile of trash is covered with six inches of soil. Each mound simmers and decomposes, producing methane gas. Now, IESI and Ameren, Missouri, are looking for buried treasure in that trash. Acres and acres of trash waiting to be transformed into one of the world's most valuable commodities, energy, green and renewable energy that also disposes of a powerful greenhouse gas. That's the motivation behind this partnership, dubbed Methane to Megawatts. It will be one of the largest methane conversion plants in the country, and it could only happen where there's an energy company willing to make the investment and a cutting-edge landfill operator with the technology to capture the methane. A network of pipes and wells already channels methane gas to a central area, where for years previous landfill owners have burned some of it for heat at nearby Pattonville High School and a commercial greenhouse. But most of the landfill gas is waste, burned off in enclosed flares. But not for long. When Ameren, Missouri finishes its newest Maryland Heights Renewable Energy Center in 2012 on the IESI site, all of the excess methane gas will power turbines that generate about 15 megawatts of electricity. That's enough power for 10,000 homes 24 hours a day without burning a teaspoon of coal. We obviously help the environment. We're converting waste into energy, and so that's a good thing. Second, we're committed to the environment. We obviously, not only do we have legislation that says we have to use so much renewables, it's because we really want to. And this is really the right thing. And thirdly, you know, this is great for the economy. We're going to create jobs. It's a win for our customers, and it's a win for the state. For IESI and Ameren, Missouri, this partnership is an important breakthrough in the fuels for the future. Endless renewable energy ready to power our lives 24-7 and created right here in our own backyard. The wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine. So this particular technology will allow us to generate 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we don't have to worry about the sun or the wind. So uh, when you look at renewable technologies and renewable sources of generation, this is definitely a key element of why this landfill gas project is such a great project for us. And state officials agree. Methane to megawatts is not only a great project, it's an opportunity for the entire state. I hope this facility and this cooperation will serve as an example for innovative thinking and action that will be followed by other businesses, other communities, and other entrepreneurs across our state. Clean energy, think about it. That's tremendous. We're talking about, in the next 18 months, building three 4.9 megawatts turbines for energy. That is outstanding. It's going to create jobs, opportunity, but even more importantly, I think it's a game changer. Methane to Megawatts, a groundbreaking partnership between Ameren, Missouri and IESI. Ameren, focused energy for life.